Hello, Marvel fans. This is Dan Niger Sis, and uh, and sorry if I have I have not been doing some um, very well lately. I have been a bit busy, and those um, big news what came out about Marvel I missed out, but but I know you've all heard it by now. But I'm not but in this video. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not talking about those old news. I'm talking about what's been going on today. So we're gonna get started. What's been all big news have been going out today? Now, is it's uh we all know today it's April Fool's Day, you know, and it's all like that, you know, and everyone pulls a trick on us, you know, and on April Fool's. But it looks like it looks like we from the news I'm going to tell you this all could be an April Fool's trick. But I don't know, maybe tomorrow I might say it's not all a trick. But for now, for some of these news I'm going to give you today, I'm going to tell you now uh, there could be April Fool's trick. So here we go. I'm going to start with our first one today, and. When it is now, there was been some more talks about Spider-Man, and uh, here's the thing. Here's, here's what they're saying. They're saying that who's going to play Spider-Man is Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Now, before you start, before you start saying and what, why they, why is he playing them again? Here's how they're doing this. If this is true, this is what they said. They they said this. It is part of the MCU, you know, because we all know that. Here's how it's going to go down. The Amazing Spider-Man Two. Never happened. So this is how it happens. Amazing Spider-Man happened before the Avengers, and then, you know, when it comes to his new solo film, it'll take place after the first Amazing Spider-Man film. So when I think about this, I think it's an April Fool's trick on that one. Because one, they said they were going to cast a younger Spider-Man so they can get him being in high school. And two, I don't think. They wanted to have Andrew Garfield back. He's already done Spider-Man. He had his time. Even if he was in two films. But he had his time as Spider-Man. And three. I don't, that would have classed then. It's an amazing one again. Because we've already had the amazing Spider-Man. And the separate Spider-Man. We, sh we should need the um, the other one. We just need a different one. Now speaking about that. This is the next news. Uh, it has been confirmed now. I mean. I mean, don't get me wrong, this could be a new April Fool's trick, but here's what I'm going to say. They said that um, that it's going to be the Spectacular Spider-Man, so they're going with the Spectacular one. I mean, that's going to be good, really, because I hope his costume can have, like, the webs under his armpits, but it's their choice what the, what to make what to have the costume look like, but I just hope they can get put that on there, because in, the, in that anime um, Spectacular Spider-Man series, he had them. What else did they say? He also said about who who's involved with this. Now they said the Russo brothers are involved, uh, not directing or writing the script. They're just um, involved with it. Uh, the one who's writing the script is Drew Garfield. I don't know if I've said his name right, but apparently he's doing the script. Now the director is going to be Josh Whedon, and when I heard that, I thought, "Oh man, this is going to be good." Because we all know Josh Whedon has done done a good thing with the Avengers, like, he's made it out as us we should f see, like, because he's a big Marvel geek fan, really, he's a big geek, really, <laughs> because he's do because also he's doing the new Avengers film, now, he's really a geek when it comes to this stuff, so, I, f when I first heard about this a couple of days ago about him, I thought, you know, because he was on, like, a couple of days ago, but it there was not confirming anything, but, when it there was some news about his name, but, when I heard about that first time, I thought, I hope, he is because um because you know he's a good act he's a good director and he knows what to do with with, with things like this like Marvel stuff and all that because he's a big geek of it and that is completely a shocking one now I heard rumors about there's some kind of logo out for that for, for the spectacular Spider-Man but I haven't seen anything but I'm just been a look on that I've been on the look for it but there's nothing anyone I want to move on to this biggest biggest news. Now, also, um, the news I was just on about, about the Spectacular, you could take that as an April Fool's, but I'm taking it as an April Fool's for now, but I'm, but I'm half believing it. Here's the last April Fool's thing that might, this could be, well, as I said, could be another April Fool's thing. Get this. When it comes to next year, because we know, because S-Men, because the next S-Men's next film is going to be, well, Deadpool, but before, before after Deadpool, we're going to have the uh, Apocalypse. Now, Here's what they said, and I'm going to tell you this now. If you're a big fan of S-Man and you watch them, before the Captain America film comes out, you know, comes into the um, cinemas, 
watch the S Men Apocalypse first, because this is why. Because now they're saying that the S Men are gonna be in the MCU. Now, I'm completely shocked at this moment. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm just praying. I'm just doing like thank you and all that. I'm just praying to the to the Lord if this is true. I mean, I know. I mean, as I said, it could be an April Fool's trick, but. For now, I'm just taking it as half half. Like, is it could be an April Fool's trick, but it could be true. But here's the. This is what they said. Because see, the other night, I said when uh, Hugh Jackman was po posts on Twitter, and he said, uh, "Playing, playing, you know, one last time, you know, playing with Wolverine." Actually, what he means by that, he means playing him by solo, like in the, in the solo, you know, in his own in the universe where there's just the S Men characters. That's what I think. That's uh, what he means by. So now it looks like. We're going to get the S-Men and Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I heard they're going to make their first appearance in the Cat America Civil War. Now, as I said, it could be a neighbor force trick, but I hope it's not. So that Because then, we can have the whole peep, all of them back. Because there was a little bit on about the uh, about Fantastic Four as well. They were saying about, if that works... Apparently, what I've heard is, because I'm bringing this up as well. They said is... If this does well, and if the people like it, you know, for the Cat America one, you know, crossing over with Mov, with the MCU, then they said that Fantastic Four can cross with S-Men, also MCU, so as for something like that, but I thought, if that happens, because we're going to have the new Fantastic Four film, I just thought to myself, if that goes well, then, then are we going to have, like, because we know Johnny Storm in this version is going to be played by, oh, I forgot his name, but... I'm not going to say, but you you know the actor, but because uh, this Johnny Storm's going to be different, because, um, well, you know why, because in, um, in the other version, he was white, and in the, this version, he's black. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, I'm just saying, I don't know if that, because if that does come true, you know, if, you know, also if Fantastic Four joins the MCU as well, I want to know if they good at, if they're doing the, um, you know, we cast again for those guys, or they're just going to have those people from the um, new Fantastic Four film. But that's what I'm saying. But this is, as I said, all these news could be able for But I'll be completely shocked though. The next morning they say we're not joking. This is all happening. Now, thing is, because I said about the S Men Apocalypse, because they're saying about you had to watch that one first. Because they're saying about how the the end of the MCU is all but involved with time travel. Because I had a feeling that time travel would come back for S Men Apocalypse. Because we had any. Days of Future Past, and we all know how big change they did, you know, Jean Grain's alive, Cyclops is alive, you know, all that kind of thing, and a bit of difference to the universe, and also Professor X, he's alive now again, but I could see that that, that could happen again then, if they're going with that route, you know, when, you know, the S-Men are still in the in the film, they're in their, in their, um, in their universe with no other heroes, and in the end of the film, they, um, after they deal with Apocalypse, and they try to close the time, the time travel thing, then they then they realize, you know, they're not the only heroes anymore, and they realize, wait, they're not mutants, they're pop, they're people with some different kind of drug stuff and all that kind of thing on the in them. But it could be a shock for that. Oh, I mean, I'm just having my mind blown by now from this news. I just don't know if they're taking in as real or fake. I mean, mind blowing. I'm just, my mind is just blown. I just don't know what to say anymore. I mean, I'll be screwing my head. I mean, I'm not, I won't really do it, but if I, when I see that film, Apocalypse, in the cinemas next year, before Captain America, if that really does happen, then I might just scream my head off. Well, I might not, I won't really in the cinema, but I'll do like a, yeah, like that, like a quiet scream going like, yes, finally, we got in the MCU. So, what can I say from this? That's all I want to say. And, 22 days to go for the new Avengers film. I'm looking forward to it. And about and one last thing about Quicksilver's voice. I think it's good he's beat. I mean, I think it's good. I know he's Russian, but it's going to be good. But anyway, as a normal, you can find the pictures on the Facebook page. And um, you're going to put some thumbs up, comments. You know, all that form I told you. And I'll see you again soon. Peace.